What is up my friends and fellow collectors out there? It is time for another big Figurama unboxing. Let me get the box for you guys and show you the size of this one. All right. All right, so maybe it's not as big as all the other boxes. It's time for an orgasm. All right, welcome back, my friends, to another unboxing video. If this is your first time on the channel, we do a lot of talk of collecting on this channel. We go on toy hunts, statue unboxing, statue reviews, hot toy reviews. We do a lot of cool stuff on here. If you're into this kind of geeky things, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the content. So in this nice size box is a Figurama statue. The first Figurama statue that I can actually hold in my hand without having any problems, so I'm loving that. Uh, I was contacted by Casey over at Figurama and she asked me if I wanted to review the Alucard bust. So if you guys haven't seen all the other videos I've done on the Alucard statue that they have, that thing is phenomenal. It is one of the coolest statues and me and that piece have a sordid history. It's because I was the first person to actually get to see this thing in person at the very first convention that I attended with Figurama collectors. And you know, we saw this, it was an oversized version of that uh, particular statue and I was like blown away by it. Very difficult for me to put that one together at the time because there were no instructions and we were putting it all together. It was a prototype. Uh, it was pretty nuts. So I uh, can't wait to actually see that one in hand. But, you know, she contacted me and she said, you know, would you like to see this one as well? So I was like, yeah, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, so big thanks to her. Big thanks to Shanab and the rest of the Figurama team for sending this over to me. I got it just before the holidays, just before uh, Christmas. Actually, it came to me on Christmas Eve. And, um, and you know, because of all the things going on, you know, the end of the year episodes and stuff like that, it was a little bit difficult for me to actually get to the unboxing. So uh, we're gonna do it now. So let's see what we got here. First thing we got is a certificate of authenticity. Very dope. All right, so that's this. So you got a certificate of authenticity that comes with it. And then you have this box. Now, what's awesome is that the box has a really cool shape to it. It's kind of shaped like a coffin almost. At least one I remember seeing in the pictures. Let's see what this looks like. Very well packaged. Oh, fits in the box perfectly. All right. Yeah, see, I like the box. The box is pretty dope. I don't know who came up with this idea of this box design, but it is neat. All right, so let me bring you up close and personal this so you can see the box in its full details. You know what time it is. Extreme close up! All right, so there is your box design. Check it out. Got Helsing on the front, Alucard of Helsing Elite Bust. Like I said, the box design is really dope. It's black on the sides, black on the back, black on that side. But I think it still would look kind of cool to have it displayed in the back just because of the shape. So it's very interesting. Really nice artwork on that. So let's pop that open and see what's inside the box. Ooh, sliding out nice and slow. And there, okay. So we get the foam out the way. And more foam. All right, so it's got this, um, this foam style that is, uh, I like these because you don't, it doesn't leave a mess. And, and that's basically how it's all boxed in there. So real simple, should be a real easy put together. You know, nothing, nothing too difficult to assemble. Let's put it all together and see what it looks like. All right, let's see what this part is here. Just that very nicely wrapped. All right, so this is the lower part of the bust. Really nice paint, like that. And it's neat, it has like a coffin style to the lower part of the base, I think is what they're trying to go for. Like it's opening and he's coming out of the, of the base. So that's the, that's pretty neat. It's an interesting look. All right. What else we got here? We got, looks like a neck scarf for a tie. Imagine that goes here. Like this, no, let's go this way. All right, so like that.
Very nice looking face. Dope, I love the hair. All right, it slides in like that. And what we got here? Oh, and you got another portrait. So you get two portraits, that's dope. You get the option to have two different styles for his face. That's the way to go, I think. Gotta go this way. <laughs> I like this face though, I like this face. All right, but let's pop this out, we'll put that in place. Oh yeah, definitely gonna go this way. Like the red hat. That is pretty dope. All right, let me bring you even closer. Extreme close up! All right, and there is the bust. Give you guys a little turn around so you can see what it looks like. I think it's a really nice way to display the portraits. Really cool the detail on that face. I love this face. I love the glasses, the shading and the color on the hat. Check that out. That came out really, really nice. They did a really great job on the detail of this, uh, of this base. There's no um, numbered addition to these uh, busts. So this is not, doesn't seem like it has a limited number to it. Uh, I really like the optional design for this because, um, you know, you can have your statue and you can have this displayed next to it, which I think is, which is cool. And then they came up with this idea that the that the base itself is kind of like a coffin and the spirit or this, you know, is coming out of the coffin and then forming up. So it has it has like its own little uh, statue that goes with it, you know, like, like it's like its own entity, not just like some place to display your heads. And then they give you two portraits, which is really, really cool. Uh, so you can swap this out here and you can put on this one without the hat, I personally like the hat better because you know it's to me looks a little bit more iconic than without. Uh, but the hair on this one is nice. I like how it's flowing around him like that, and it has you know a lot of dynamic energy to it. So it just gives it this really nice looking uh, style to the to the display. And, and the way the tie is flowing up like that, yeah, it's really cool, man. Really, really awesome looking little bust. All right, and that's it. That's my unboxing and review of the Figurama Alucard Helsing bust. This is the Elite bust. I think this thing is really awesome. Nice companion to the statue. Uh, can't wait to see it, like I said, next to the statue. I, I want to see how it's going to pose next to it, but I think it's going to be badass. I mean, Figurama always does a really good job with their thought process with these things. So anyway, as always, I'm always here just to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know which one of the portraits would you display this with, because the other one I'm going to go put in my new case to keep it uh, safe. I think I'm gonna go with the hat myself and then just put this one in the case, uh, at least until the statue arrives and then I'm gonna swap out, you know, portraits and see which one I like better. So uh, let me know in the comments below. As always guys, thank you for joining me. Happy New Year since this is your first time back. So, you know, Happy New Year. And until next time guys, keep it marvelous.